welcome to this video on overview about networking. What is a network? A network, if I were to represent by means of this rectangle and I will title it as a network is just a group of devices which can be placed in the network. It could be a bunch of computers which I will represent by these rectangles or it could be other devices you have maybe a printer or a scanner in general. So I will call it as printers and other devices. You use networks both in your office as well as at home. The purpose of a network in either case is the same. The ability for your computers to talk to each other as well as to other devices on that network. This network is typically a private network. So a network can be categorized as private or public. What do we mean by a public network? A public network is a network of computers which can access each other over the internet. Whereas a private network is one that is whole and soul within that network. Outside computers cannot reach it. So when you set up a network at home or at office, you can make it get connected to the internet, which is a public network. And thereby, if you take a connection with an internet service provider, they would typically provide you with a router or a device which enables your network to be connected to the internet. Please keep in mind, even if your router is not having connectivity to the internet, which is there could be a problem with your ISP and thereby internet is not available, please remember that your network at home or office is still able to talk to each other. If you are at office, you are still able to use the network facility at your office even though you are not able to connect to the internet. So the purpose of a network is to enable communication between devices within a network and there are various components within a network which we need to understand. To begin with, typically when we set up a network, you have the physical cables which form the media through which communication happens. You have switches and routers which connect these devices. Further, in each device that is connected to the network, you have a network interface card. A network interface card is otherwise called as a NIC and you can have both a wired network or a wireless network. If you have a wired network, you have a physical network interface card to which you plug in your cable. If it is a wireless network interface card, assuming you have a wireless router in place, you connect using your Wi-Fi SSID and get connected. At the end of the day, both a wired and wireless network serve the same purpose. Over the next bunch of videos, we're going to see more about these components and how they enable you to use the network and understand fundamentals of networking.